so guys on our previous tutorial we learned how to draft this beautiful double breasted blazer gown so in this tutorial we learn how to put up this pattern together in order to achieve that beautiful double breasted blazer gown you just view okay so on our last tutorial on our previous tutorial i showed you guys how you are going to trace it and i've gone ahead to trace it so we have the center back the side back the side front the center front we also have the color here so you should uh, make sure that you watch that tutorial on how to draft this pattern so that you can join us on this tutorial okay let's get started so i fold my crepe material right side facing each other then i place my center back and my side back on it so that i can cut out two two piece each for it okay so i'll cut out two two piece each for the center back and the side back so i also fold my crepe fabric right side facing each other then i placed my center front and my side front on it so that i can cut out two two piece each for these patterns can you see that so you are basically cutting out two piece for the side back two piece for the center back two piece for the side front and two piece for the center front so after that you are going to use this pattern to cut out your lining and before you use this pattern to cut out your lining you are going to fold in this half inch you are seeing on the hem of this pattern so it's very important so i placed my side back and my side front on my suit lining i'm going to cut out two two piece each so you will notice the center front is not here i'm going to use that center front to cut out the main material okay the center front is going to be the main material okay it's not going to be suit line i hope you understand what i mean okay so i'm not going to be using the suit lining to cut out the center front for the lining i'm going to use the main material to cut out the center front this is because of the lapel so the lapel is going to be showing it's very important that the material is showing and not suit lining so this is the center back i'm going to cut out two pieces for the center back so after cutting out our lining this is how it looks like can you see that i folded every half inch on the hem of my pattern is very very important so i cut out two pieces for the center front two pieces for the side front two pieces for the side back and two pieces for the center back so you notice that i cut out the center back side back and side front with suit lining and you notice that the center front of the lining i used my main material to cut it out can you see that so this is how it's going to be so the reason why you use main material to cut out the center front is because that part is going to be showing and this is my reveal color okay so i've also used my pattern to cut it out you notice that i cut this on fold okay so when i open it you are going to see how it is when i cut it so i've also gone ahead to cut out and interfacing for my color okay so you go ahead and do same for your own so you are going to cut out interfacing and you are cutting this reveal color on fold you are cutting two pieces okay and you are also going to go ahead and cut out the interfacing for it so that it can be firm so this is my main material i've also gone ahead to iron in my sd on all the main material can you see that so this is my front piece okay so i've gone ahead to iron in the main material on it so i'll go ahead to pin this so i'm pinning in the side front to the center front i'll pin it and i'll go and sew it all along with half inch seam allowance I will also pin the other side and I will also go ahead and sew it with half inch seam allowance when I'm done. So this is the lining of the front piece. I'm also joining it side front to center front just like I did for the main bodies. I will go ahead and sew it with half inch when I'm done. So can you see after pinning it, this is how it looks like. And after I sew it, I sew it, this is how it's going to be. 
and this is the main bodies for the back okay i'm going to pin the back right side facing each other okay and once i'm done i'm going to pin the side back to the center back like that and when i'm done with that i'm going to pin the other side back to the center back okay so i'll go ahead and sew it down so this is the lining for the back can you see that i will also do the same thing i will pin the center back when i'm done i'm going to pin the side back and when i'm done with that i'm also going to pin the other side back so i'll go ahead and sew it down so this is the collar this is the reveal collar so we cut this on fold and just folding back this reveal collar so that you will as you will understand what i'm about to explain so this is how i place this reveal collar on my material when cutting can you see the place i cut on fold does not have does not have half inch seam allowance so you will notice that there is a notch on this my pattern i don't know if you can see this notch okay so i'm just going to so i've already notched this i've placed this notch on my material when i cut it out can you see that so can you see that notch i've placed it and i'm going to turn the upper parts can you see where i'm turning the upper part of this reveal color i'm going to turn it and i'm stopping at that notch so i'm now going to place my reveal color right side facing each other okay when i place it right side facing each other i'm going to pin it down starting from that notch part can you see the place i notched i'm going to pin it down and i will sew starting from the notch end to, and i will stop to the other notched end okay this is as simple as abc so can you see you are sewing the upper part and you are stopping where the notch is so you notice this is my side front pattern I also placed a notch where the lapel starts okay so you can see that this notch aligns okay this notch is where the reveal color is stopping on my pattern so when I'm sewing it I'll make sure that both also rhymes so you can see that I placed the notch also on my material while cutting so it's very very important for putting up this pattern together Okay, so these two notches is just very important in fixing your color. So you don't go and fix it where it's not supposed to be. And this is my lining and the main material for the back piece. Okay, can you see how beautiful it is? I've gone ahead to iron it, both the lining and the main material. Can you see how I opened it up and I ironed it? every seam very well can you see that yeah so you go ahead and do same for yours so this is the main material for the front piece can you see that i've joined the side front and the center front and i've gone ahead to iron open the seam okay can you see that so you go ahead and do the same for your own and this is the the lining okay this we serve as the lining for the front piece i've also gone ahead to join it and i've ironed open the seam line so you should go ahead and do same for your own and for the reveal color i've gone ahead to sew it just like i explained earlier and i've also given this a good press So the next thing I'm going to do is to get the main bodies. I'm going to join it side by side, okay, by one inch seam allowance because that's the seam allowance I added. I'm also going to join it at the shoulder. So this is the lining. I'm also going to join it side by side by one inch, okay, and at the shoulder, I'm going to join it by half. So guys, after joining it side by side, this is how beautiful it looks. Can you see the inseam can you see how i ironed everything out can you see the shoulder everything was ironed out very well so ironing is a very important thing in making your garment okay can you see how neat it is 
so you will notice i've already put my world pocket double world pocket with flap i have a detailed tutorial on this double world pocket with flap i was watching it this morning and i was like wow this is so detailed like oh my god you need to see that tutorial so go and check out that tutorial it's well explained like guys i was like i'm really trying for you guys so go and check out that tutorial so that you can put your own beautiful double world pocket with flap So for this double world pocket with flap, I will be linking the tutorial down on the comment section so that you can see it. So this is our beautiful pocket. So don't hesitate to watch that tutorial. It's very important. Very, very detailed. Very, very detailed. So after joining the lining side by side, this is also what I have. Can you see? how beautiful it is can you see how i ironed out all in sync so you go ahead and do the same for your own so the next thing i want to do now is to fix the color so get your color and you are going to notch the center point so this center point you are going to be matching it up with the center this line at the center back okay so you are going to match it up like this and you are going to pin all along so remember this place that we notched and remember this point make sure that you match them up together okay so i'm going to carefully pin it down then i'll go and sew it down so this is how it's going to be when you pin it down can you see that so I'll go ahead and sew it down by half inch. So after joining the collar, this is how it looks like. So can you see how I opened it up? I'm going to get the lining and I'm going to place it right side facing each other. Can you see that? So I will pin it carefully, each point to each point. So you see this shoulder seam point. I'm going to make sure that it matches the shoulder seam point at the gown so i'll make sure that the center back point is matching the center back point so i'm going to pin it round each point to each point so i'll make sure that these seam lines match it up so i'll pin it up then i'll go and sew it round so i've pinned down the neckline the neckline is very very vital so I've pinned it down. I will go ahead and sew it by half inch first before I go ahead and pin other areas. You know, the, there is a collar in the neckline. So you have to sew it carefully, making sure that each point rhymes, okay? So the, the collar now is now in the middle of the lining and the main body. So you are going to make sure to sew it carefully. So guys, I've sewn the collar first, just like I told you guys. And at this point, I'm very anxious. I don't want to see any rump, rumpo or any mistake. I don't have strength to lose. So let's see. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So can you see? I was able to sew it in very well. There is no rumpo. There is no nothing to lose. Can you see? So everything is fine. So now I can now happily pin up the rest. So this collar part is very, very important. Before you sew the rest round, make sure you sew the collar to see if there is no mistake. So since there is no mistake, I will happily pin the rest round. So I'm going to pin it round, making sure that each, if, if each point doesn't match, it's going to affect your garment. So it's very important that each point matches up so pin it round and you are going to sew it round by half inch so after that we are going to turn it out from the armhole so let me do that so guys you can see that i've gone ahead to sew it down by half inch at the hemline can you see that i make sure that each point rhymes is very important now, another important thing is that before you pin up the side, you remember that we reduce the lining by half inch. 
so now this is what you are going to do before you pin the sides this is what you are going to do you are going to drag it up by half inch okay so can you see how i drag the main bodies up by half inch so this is how it is so now i'm going to carefully drag the main bodies which is facing downwards the main bodies this is the main bodies this is the lining that is facing upward so now i'm going to drag it up by that half inch that will reduce the lining so can you see that i have dragged it up by half inch so i'm going to pin it down so this is an important technique that you shouldn't miss okay so can you see that i've dragged it up by half inch so i'm going to continue pinning it down all the way then i will sew it down by half inch because if you don't drag it up by half inch it might cause a little you know your outfit might not be that perfect you know i love perfect outfits so it's very very important so make sure to drag drag it up by half inch before you pin okay that is very very important so I'll go ahead and pin up the rest and do the same thing for the other side. So in case you don't get it, the main body is facing the down. Just drag it up by half inch. Can you see what I'm doing? When you drag it, you open up this seam and you pin it down. So can you see it? I dragged it up by half inch. So this is it. This is the main body. So you drag it up by half inch. So when you drag it up, you open it open the seam line and you are going to pin it down and go and sew it by half inch very very important so guys i've gone ahead to sew the side by half inch can you see can you see that so i'm going to flip everything out from the ample oh my god i'm feeling this blazer gown already oh my god i'm going to flip everything else oh wow this is success for me So can you see the effect of the half inch that we pull up while sewing? Can you see how it sits properly? So that is it, guys. I'm going to give this a real good press. I will give it a real good press. Then after that, I will, you know, fit it on. I will feel it to see how my blazer is turning out. So let me go ahead and give it a real good press. So guys, I'm done ironing my blazer gown for the sleeve. I have a detailed tutorial on how to fix a blazer sleeve. I'll be linking it down below on the comment section so you check it out. So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, leave me a comment on the comment section. Like this video, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.